Hi everyone, we're going to do a translation of this triangle off the grid. So what we're going to do first is we're going to trace the triangle on patty paper exactly the way it looks on our paper. So we're going to trace this, I already have it traced. Um, you're going to trace it with the letters on there and the arrow in the right position and the right length of everything. It's got to be the exact same thing we see on our paper copied identically. So the arrow must be the right direction and it must be the right length because the longer the arrow, the more it's going to slide. So this arrow says to slide each point that distance in that direction. So basically this little arrow is going to tell each of our A, B, and C what direction and what distance to go in. So once I got this traced, I'm just going to follow what the arrow says to do. It basically says start at this point and go to the end of the, where the arrow is pointing. So we're going to slide the arrow along that arrow like this, and we're going to stop it right when those two arrows meet up like this. Not just any random distance, but we're going to slide it along the arrow until it ends where the end of one arrow is at the beginning of the other, like this. So we slid it in the right direction in the right distance. Then from here, we're just going to draw it on our paper. And if you can, kind of push through the patty paper to get it on paper underneath. That works out pretty well. We just need these three points to make that triangle. We'll see if that went through. It didn't really go through that well, so we're going to use a different technique. I'm going to again slide it. I'm going to lift up the edge of my paper here. Just going to make sure I did that right. Slide it like this. I'm going to lift up the edge of the patty paper and just put a little dot for each of those vertices of that triangle. So at A here, I'm going to put a dot there at the new A, the new C, and the new B. So it doesn't go through the other way. You can use this way to make those points. Now it's good to trace it with the letters so we know which, which letter is which here. So this is the new A, that's A prime. This is new C, and this is new B. So C prime and B prime. Then from there, we can trace, or we can connect these and make our triangle. So it's good to use a ruler to keep it as accurate as possible. That's a little off. Looks pretty good. You do not need to trace the arrow as well. That just kind of shows the direction and the distance you're going. You don't need to draw that as your new picture as well. You just need to draw the new shape. And we can check to see if we're right, because the arrow should be how far we go and the direction. So let's just line up our points and see if we get it right. So from B to B prime, you can kind of see the arrow lines up there. A to A prime and C to C prime. So all of those points moved the right distance and the right direction based on that arrow or that vector. We also call that arrow a vector. Of course, the arrow could be anywhere. Um, whatever direction and distance it's, it's drawn in will just change how far and what direction it goes in. So I could draw an arrow over here and then it would just slide down that distance in that direction. Same kind of thing. That's how we do our translations off the grid.